Agro-Innovate West Africa, a leading agriculture trade show, and the sixth in its edition, brought together stakeholders in the agriculture space within and outside West Africa, farmers, livestock breeders, those in the aquaculture space, amongst others. The convergence gave attendees the opportunity to get advice on agribusiness-related conversations and also the ability to network with those within the line of business. The Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture, Prince Golan Olawao, made a presentation on the efforts made by the Lagos State Government to ensure sustainability in food supply. Between 2020 and 2025, our target, we currently at about 18% self-sufficiency level in terms of food in Lagos State. But our target is by 2025, we should be able to get to 25% of what we produce in Lagos State. That is a lot of challenge. We should be able to get and get closer to 40% by that year, 2025. The establishment of the 32 tons per hour rice mill at Imota. This mill, which is at the construction phase, has attained 50% completion. When operational, it will ensure a steady supply of freshly processed rice to the Russians in addition to the creation of over 250 250,000 jobs, both directly and indirectly. The other major scheme is the Agricultural Youth Empowerment Scheme, AgriCares. AgriCares, so far, we train 600 youth, and we intend to train 15,000 youth and women in the next four years. We already have sites, the Araga site and the Songhai in the Badagri sites. We are working in close collaboration with the World Bank. We are also working in close collaboration with the national government to ensure that whatever we produce, we create jobs in that value chain. Also, a team led by the Director General of the National Agricultural Seed Council spoke on the need for good quality seeds as an enabler for good yield for farmers across Africa. If you have good quality seeds and farmers cannot assess it, then you don't have seeds because the essence of having seeds is, you know, having it at the disposal of farmers so that they can improve their yield and get greater uh, productivity. Uh, the Seed Council as a regulatory body has oversight over the production, marketing, trade and use of seeds in Nigeria. And we are the, at the center of the Nigeria seed sector as the principal institution for the implementation of the seed policy in Nigeria. We are moving from visual diagnostic of, in our certification process to, you know, diagnostic certification. Before we go to the field and we look at plant materials and we assume, oh, the height, uh, this one is diseased and everything. We don't know the disease. But now, with the introduction of our molecular laboratory, we can draw samples, particularly in vegetatively propagated material, where virus is a key uh, challenge. We can be able to, you know, clean the materials that farmers are getting. So we now have the first of its kind, the first molecular diagnostic laboratory in the whole of Africa in the Seed Council. Seeds are the single most important component of agri productivity. We know that if you have the quality seed, the right seed, 50% of your productivity is assured. So when you are talking of seeds, you are talking of um, whether two, two bars, you are talking of rhizomes, you are talking of stem cuttings, you are talking of bulbs, whatever you are talking of that you can use to propagate another material, then that is seed. The Director General spoke on the importance of the convergence and gains in terms of understanding the business angle to agricultural practices. Uh, Agri-Innovate uh, is one convergence that actually assisted us, particularly in planning our Seed Connect Africa convergence. Agri-Innovate is a uh, convergence which is actually very good, bringing stakeholders together in the agribusiness. And you know when you produce and you do so many other things, but the business angle is not actually in, in inculcated into it. It's not good. So it's a very good convergence that is bringing everybody together every year. And we in the Sea Council are very proud to be part of it. I think we in Nigeria, we are, we are lucky in a way because if you look at the geopolitical zone we have in this country and if you look at the kind of uh, 
the environment, you discover that some of the crops that can be grown in some of those places we are talking about could be grown here. We are talking of wheat. Particularly if you go to the Mambila and some of the states in the north, the northeast, particularly Jigawa, Kano, uh, Taraba, and uh, Bruno, and Yobe. You see that the atmosphere that is very con convenient for growing with. So, and if you look at other geopolitical zones in Nigeria, you see that there are special crops that can be grown, and you discover that at the end of the day, we can even be able with all this and with the kind of people we have and our natural resources, be able to supply some of the things to other parts of this country. So we can leverage on this in order to actually boost our productivity and even expand our markets. In the seed industry, we are a member of International Seed Test Association and uh, we are becoming a member of the OECD and UPOF. These are organizations that have standards which we are keen into because if you don't keen into all these standards, if your product did not meet all these standards, you will not be able to actually participate in international sea trade. But that's one of the cardinal principles that we in the National Sea Council are actually leveraging on because we must ensure that markets out there is available for our products, but our products must meet these markets. But we are actually keen into, we are members of some of these international organizations. So the, 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 everything is actually being done so that our farmers will be able to assess international markets. When you look at our operations now, they look more international. So it's not just the Nigerian standards. Now we have an opportunity for better exposure and we see what other people are doing and then we try to develop our system to meet international best practices. Collaborating fine with some international organizations that have assisted us in developing the seed system of, uh, of, of the country, and uh, one of which is the USWA project, uh, YAM Improvement for Income and Food Security in West Africa. It is a collaboration we are having with uh, IITA, and uh, it has helped to really develop the seed system of YAM. Uh, and uh, it is going, you know, to, to, it's improving the system. It's important that uh, we must find a way of uh, making Lagos to be competitive. Lagos is a city state, and Lagos contributes a lot to the economy of Nigeria. Without Lagos, it will be difficult for anybody, whatever you produce, whatever you, you always want to come to Lagos because this is where the market is. So in ensuring that the consumers have quality product or produce, we as government, as the regulators, we always ensure that the best quality that is of global standards is what our people consume, whether visitors or residents. So for us, we will continue to adopt the standard operating pro procedures of all the value chains. So we will be collaborating, or we have been collaborating with all the major regulators in, the, in, in Nigeria. Government at the federal level is working uh, concertedly to ensure that we compete enough in those uh, produce or value chains that we have competitive and competitive advantages. You know, it's very difficult to, to compete in all the value chains. But for those value chains that we can conveniently co compete, like rice, I'm sure you remember those years back, a couple of years back, Nigeria was the second largest importer of Thai rice. At some point, we were importing, we were spending 365 billion naira yearly on the importation of rice. But with the national policy on, on the rice, we, we have seen that we are producing rice. We have uh, capacity, production capacity of about 10 million metric tons of paddy in Nigeria. Before, never, nothing like that happened. Government has come up with a lot of policies, incentives for farmers, processors, 
in the rice value chain. And recently, you all know what's happening at border, closure of border. So we want to ensure that we, we can compete globally in those value chains. I mean, For Plus CB Africa, Irene Ubani.